Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful ring with peyote stitch. Yes, it's a really simple and easy stitch so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe because probably I will make with the same stitch which is cylindrical peyote stitch or you could call it tubular peyote stitch and with this one probably I will make a necklace and earrings so you will able to see them and you won't miss a thing. That is why it's a good idea to also hit the bell if you still haven't. You could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, also link to all of my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials and link to my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips that you could also see and if you want subscribe so thank you so much for watching now I will start with the list of the materials okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of Delica beads and here I use fire line that is 0 0.005 inches or 0 0.12 millimeters and you could use other beading thread of your choice or 0 0.15 uh, fire line it doesn't matter that much and here I use size 11 tulip needle and I will link to those two down there in description they are part of a starter beading kit or you could buy them separately it's up to you and I'll also give a link where you could buy Delica beads from so uh, what else I'm using here is this pattern that I did myself and if you want to know how to make your own beading pattern I have a separate video that you could see here at the eye icon but now I'm going to use this one and you will also see it here at this corner so now uh, I'm going to start by using peyote stitch I will take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back Okay, and as I said guys, here I'm using peyote stitch and this is my pattern and when I start peyote stitch, which is like mosaic beading, first I always take beads for the first two rows. So if this is one row and this is the second row, I take together all the beads from those two rows. So I take one, two, three, four, five, six beads. Okay, and I will take six black beads first but I want to take a stopper bead, slide it down, the stopper bead will be of different color and I will remove it at the end. Okay, I'm going back through it just like this. Now guys, I'm going to pick up those six black beads as that I told you. Okay, and I have my six black beads here and I'm sliding those down just like this and now I have this okay and for my next row what I'm doing is that I pick up one black bead and as I'm exiting from here I'm going through the other black okay through the next black it will come to this side but I will pull it like this to the center of my work this first row is difficult to start but then it's getting more easy so I take one and go through the following then I'm going to take one more bead I will skip the next one that's on my way so I'm skipping this one and I'm going through the following So now guys, when I pull tight, I have this, you see. Then I'm going to take one more bead. Sorry for my fingers, this is from the cold. They will be okay soon. Okay, then I'm skipping the next bead and going through this one, the last one from this row, okay? Now I'm exiting here where uh, this stopper bead is and you see 
I'm here at my pattern. I'm exiting out of this bit of my pattern. And what I need to do is go back and add this one in this direction. Okay, so what I do is that I take the next black one and go here through this one. Okay, now you see I'm doing this row. This, this, this. I'm skipping one, okay? So then I will leave it here and you will see it here at the corner also. Then in my next step I need one red bead because this is what comes on my pattern. If it's easier for you, you could see it in this direction. So here I have one black and the next one is red. Okay, and here this one and after that this one that is sticking out which is black again. You see, if you don't understand just follow the steps. Okay, then here I will add a silver one. Okay, a silver and I'm going back here. Okay. Then what I need is a red and one more red, okay? And I'm adding one red. Then I'm adding one more red. Okay. What comes next is a black one here, this black one. And what I do is that I go back through this red. Okay, now I have this. Now it comes the center of my flower and I will do this with a silver. And here the last one guys, just above the silver is a black one. And I'm adding it. Okay, now you will see the pattern here. I won't show it anymore, but I'll just tell you what's coming up next so you could follow me as well. Okay, here I have a silver. Here it is easy to guess what is coming because I'm finishing uh, my work, my flower. You could also check here at the corner. Okay, and as I finish it, I add two red beads. Okay, here I need one black, one red, and again one black above the silver. Okay, then what comes next is a black one. This whole row consists of black beads. Okay, the next row also consists of black beads. Again black, and here guys, pay attention, here uh, one black bead away from this red comes the green one. So here what I need is a green one, then again a black one, okay, then uh, here on the putter I don't have it but I want to add one silver bead here because I like it better, okay, here in the center I will add a silver breaking this pattern. Okay, two beads away from here. 
I will add the silver. You could follow the pattern, the pattern as it is, but I would like to add one more silver here. Okay, then I take a green one, then one more green. I'm just forming my pattern here. Okay, a black one. And here, guys, even without looking, I, I know a green is coming because this is the shape I like. And then here. Okay, I will show you a little bit more. But this pattern, guys, is repeating. Okay, guys, and here what I need to do is add one more red bead and I'll start over from here. Okay, I'm starting the pattern over. It's repeating all the time. And here it comes the silver. Okay, I will show you one more row. And then... You could repeat this pattern several more times and when you feel that um, it's long enough to wrap it around your finger, just uh, be back and I will tell you what to do next and how to zip it in a zigzag way, okay? Okay guys, so now you could pause on this pattern and continue or just rewind the video, see how I'm doing this and repeat it and repeat it and I'll be back to show you the result. Okay guys, and when I repeat this pattern several more times, this is what I have. I have the length of my ring ready. If you want, you could make it uh, longer or you could make a bracelet, it's up to you. And now I will show you how I'm closing uh, this ring in a zigzag way, like a tubular peyote stitch with zigzag closure, okay? So you see how here I finished before I added this last black row. This is because I will use this black and close those two together to make the same uh, pattern repeat in a circle, okay? So what I do is that I come like this and you see how those beads could be closed like a zipper okay you see one is sticking out and one is to the inner side so they could be closed like a zipper so i'm exiting out of this silver and i'm, I'm going through the next black and then you could also go through the black after this okay like this i'm just zigzagging through my work then i'm going through this black one okay and what comes next is this green okay like this then it comes the black one so i'm going through one bead of one side and through one from the other side of those beads that are sticking out. Okay, now I close it so I don't longer need this bead here, the stopper bead at the end. And guys, what I want to do here is go up and down several times to reinforce this joint here okay 
Okay guys, and when I have been many times through those beads, I could cut directly my thread or I could make a knot. Okay, here I will show you how I'm making a knot. Then I'm going through some beads in this direction. And I will cut my thread. Okay, and I will also cut this tail thread that I started with in the beginning. And now guys, my cylindrical peyote beaded ring is ready. Okay guys, now my peyote cylindrical zigzag closure ring is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, and maybe you see matching sets uh, with necklace and earrings, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified for new videos and ideas. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials, link to for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to my store. You will also find a link to my second channel where you could see fast clips of my tutorials and uh, see the whole idea folding in just two, three minutes. So if you want to check it out and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye for me.